Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on Life Made Easy. Recording on my laptop right now, so this is a full-on, you know, example of what the Asus Zenbook 14 looks like in terms of recording. I'm just screen recording right here using the onboard 1080p webcam as well as onboard microphone. So in this video, guys, I wanted to just briefly go over how, um, basically how Chrome is treating 120 hertz refresh rate on Windows laptops where you have a dynamic uh, refresh rate setting enabled on Windows. So uh, basically what I'm talking about is if you go into settings and you go into advanced display settings where I'm here right now, as you can see, I have 120 hertz on. This is 120 hertz refresh panel, OLED panel on the Asus laptop and other laptops have similar displays. But if we go down here on dynamic refresh rate, so to save battery life, sometimes it's gonna turn down the refresh rate in order to preserve battery life. Obviously the higher the refresh rate, um, you know, the more power that's required uh, in order to do that, it's gonna require more battery power, so it's gonna drain it faster. That is all well and good. Um, so what this does, it lowers it, so you don't have to essentially drain as much battery. Uh, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna require as many resources. So I have that turned on, and then I notice when you come over to Chrome, and you're not gonna, you know, the viewer in this is recorded at 30 FPS, you cannot see this, but when I'm scrolling like on YouTube, for example, or any other sort of Chrome page that you're on, so you're browsing the internet, and you're scrolling and you're like, yeah, that doesn't really look like 120 Hertz compared to everything else on my Windows computer. You go to Microsoft Edge, you go to Firefox, everything's super smooth, uh, but for some reason Chrome, you can clearly tell, I can tell, this is 60 Hertz. For some reason, Windows doesn't like to play nice with Chrome OS, um, or sorry, not just Chrome in general. So if you go over to settings in um, Chrome, you know, you hit your three dots here and you go to settings and you go to system here. Uh, essentially, there's a setting here called use graphics acceleration or hardware, or hardware acceleration. I don't know if they changed the naming convention there, um, but you basically select that. And right now it's on by default. Now, I think if you turn this off, right, I have pretty good eyes when it comes to look, uh, observing like refresh rate, what it, 60 versus 90 versus 120, I've seen all of them. Um, now if we relaunch this, it's gonna relaunch, so now it's off. If we go back to YouTube, now I can tell it's refreshing faster. I'm going to caveat this and say it's refreshing faster although I wouldn't necessarily say this is 120 Hertz um, total or maybe it's variable and it's not staying constant so like at times like when you're scrolling the text is staying clear but I will say this kind of looks like 90 Hertz to me and maybe that's the compromise Chrome Chrome's using here I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this issue if you have any workarounds with this issue other than what I've shown in this video please leave this in the comment section below. I'd love to start the conversation down below because the only way I was able to discover this setting was on Reddit. There was nothing else on the internet on how to fix this issue. So if I bring it back here in OBS, let me know if anyone has a solution out there. Happy to hear it. Happy to, um, let's spread the video. Um, I'll try to help people on the internet because this is a really odd issue with Chrome and it not working with, um, Windows dynamic refresh rate OLED 120 Hertz panels um, So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button down below share this as I mentioned before So we can spread the word we can uh, help those on the internet who are struggling with this issue as well And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video by life made easy. Thanks so much for the recent support um, Road to 50k subs. So if you're new to the channel, you know Hit that sub button, let's get to 50k, it'd be pretty sick. And then after that, let's get to 75, and then 100, and we get the plaque, and then we're good to go. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.